Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use nested components. If you're only starting out with timeline for sketch, then I suggest you go back to the previous tutorial, which was more of a basic one. This one will have some more um, advanced topic like nested components. So this is already a component that we have made and in this sketch file which you can find in the description section you can see that these green icons they mean that this is a component so you can see that there the whole artboard is a component but also the the plus itself is a component i'm going to open the artboard component which is the bigger one and I'm going to click edit component in, in order to go into the timeline editor and I will see here there are two states and here also you can see that the blue circle is a component by itself if I double click it then just like symbols in sketch I now went into the inner component so what this blue background does, if I run the component, uh, it's pulsing and fading in and out. So this makes it, it looks like it's breathing, right? So if I go back to the bigger component and I run the component, you can see that the button is like breathing, which is kind of nice. It tells you, hey, I'm, uh, I'm here, you can click me. And when I click it, then something else happens. So the way to achieve this is by using nested components. So the, the blue circle by itself is doing its own thing, but it's also inside a bigger component. So you can see here again, this is a nested component, right? And then the, what I'm in now is the bigger component and the two transitions, so let's look about the, uh, these states. In the, this state, I only have the nested component, which is breathing, if you, um, if you look closely. But when I'm moving to the second state, then I have, this is a simulation of other actions, I have four other blue dots that are coming from behind. So these are actually uh, if I go here, these are actually, uh, they are behind the layer, but they are hidden. And then here they appear. So you know, if I move this around like this, you will see that I basically screwed up the, the component, right? But this is just to show you basically how, uh, how nested components can act together. Now another thing that you can see here, which is a special kind of thing, is that if I go inside this component, if I double click it, then um, it's, it's an endless animation. There, there is no click involved, it's just breathing all the time. And the way to do that is by having two states or more and using the timer action, the timer trigger. So I'm going to remove these and show you how this is made. Let's say I, I start from scratch, right? Let's say I even don't, I don't have this, uh, let's see, this is the blue background and this is, right? So if I want these two transition to just go um, between, there, between themselves, so I click here, I add an action and I choose the timer, right? And I choose the timer, uh, so after X milliseconds, let's say 200 milliseconds, uh, that you have arrived to this state, move to this state. So again, uh, once you arrive to this state, wait 200 milliseconds and then move to this state. And now I'll do the same to the other side. And then again, 200 milliseconds. And let's try it out. All right, so I, I can see this is, uh, this is faster than before. That means that the 200 milliseconds is probably short. Uh, I can extend it. Let's do 1.6. Uh, 
and let's do half of that here. Let's see how this looks. So slow, fast, slow, fast, right? Um, let's do another thing where I will customize the timing function. All right, so, and this, let's make it a little bit shorter. All right, let's see how this looks. You can see that uh, the transition that has the timing function change looks a little bit different, right? So uh, basically we learned two things here. One is the timer functionality, which allows you to do an endless animation. And then the other one is that this is actually nested within a different component, a bigger one. So this is breathing, and then this is showing other things. And yeah, using the nested um, components functionality, you can do some amazing things. We're going to see some more, but this is it for now. So thank you very much. One more thing I want to show you is uh, that you can actually export the code for this component. And then you can see it live in a browser. You can share it with others. You can share it with your developers. If you want to show exactly how the component should behave, then you can just share this link. Now this link, as you can see, works in the browser. You can uh, see the actual code using JS Feeder or CodePen, or you can even embed it in your own website. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the big game changer. So try that out and let us know. All right. Thank you.